Hey, I'm Jesse Brune, and I'm gonna show you how to make one of my very favorite egg dishes. It's an apple and bacon salad topped with a poached egg. It's fantastic, you're gonna love it. The first step to this recipe is making our jalapeno oil. It's our garnish, it's super easy to make. All you need is a food processor or a blender, doesn't really matter. So I got my food processor here, I'm gonna turn it on, and I'm going to drizzle olive oil right down in there. I took the seeds out of the jalapeno and chopped it up. Uh, I take the seeds out because it makes it a little hotter when it's in there, and this is just for a little extra kick. You don't want to burn anybody's tongue. So I'm gonna put the jalapeno into the blender, the processor there, and I'm gonna let it process for about five minutes until the oil becomes nice and bright green. So I've chopped the apples up in about matchstick shapes, right about here. After we've chopped our ingredients, we're gonna put it into a medium-sized bowl here. I'm going to add some green onion right here. I like to use the stem of the green onion because it's not as potent as the actual onion itself. So this doesn't overpower the taste of the apple. Throw that in the bowl and just mix it up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna add some bacon lardons. That's thick cut bacon cut like this. So I'm gonna throw that into the bowl. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in there. Mix it up. And you can let the vinegar stay in there for just, you know, a couple minutes. Let the um, flavor kind of get absorbed in there. I'm gonna flavor it with just a little bit of salt. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of pepper. And it is easy as that. All right, you ready to make some magic? Let's do it. You're gonna take a nice portion of the salad and plate it right here. I'm gonna take your egg, put it right on top right there. Now we're gonna take our jalapeno oil right here and we're just gonna drizzle a little bit right on top. And just for a little decoration, I'm gonna put a little of the oil right here on the side of the plate. And there you have it, that's all there is to it. Super simple, super fancy. Try this out and let me know what you think. Get more recipes at goodbite.com.